So I wanted to show you guys uh, in this video uh, cool new products for 2019 from uh, iFootage. This is their uh, basically set of new tripods that they released. If, uh, if you've been following me for a while, then you probably know that uh, I, I like you know a bunch of their products. And uh, their, my favorite monopod actually is from iFootage. I reviewed it before, and I used it with their um, th this little head up here, which is the Komodo uh, K5 nice little compact head very smooth you know fluid head but also uh, basically doesn't take up a lot of space or, or weight in, in, when you're traveling so these new tripods um, when they came out this year I decided to give them a try so I've been using them since February of this year and uh, and I'm loving them so far is um, in general first thing I'll tell you before I kind of show you the features and the, the details of all the little specs and, and things like that uh, is that they're just very well built. Uh, all of iFootage products are very well built. So what I mean by that is that uh, this one's made from aluminum, this one's carbon fiber. Uh, so, you know, aluminum is great because it's, you know, it doesn't, uh, it basically it's not going to break in really cold conditions. It doesn't rust, things like that. But also even the little screws, all of the little screws that come with it are stainless steel. The buckles are also aluminum. And this makes a difference because a lot of tripods have, you know, they might have really well built kind of construction when it comes to the legs and things like that, but the buckles are, are plastic and I've had those break on me, uh, especially when you drop, drop the tripod by mistake or things like that. So all of these buckles are aluminum, just it feels very solidly built. The, I have two versions here. I have the, the TC7, C stands for carbon fiber. There's also a TA7 if you want the aluminum version. And then this is the TA5. Uh, so slightly smaller version and A means it's aluminum. The similarities is they're both three stage, so meaning three, three uh, collapsible legs. They all have these rubber padded basically you know ends here uh, on their legs. So if you're on um, you know shooting indoors on wooden floors or somewhere where you don't want to scratch anything, then you would use those. Now if you're somewhere slippery where it may be like some muddy ground or something, you can just quickly turn this and you have spikes in there so you know kind of your traditional support for your tripod legs so that's good you all of the legs also uh, have multiple angles that they can extend to so the different basically number of degrees and to, if you want to adjust it you just basically pull this out this little handle and then you can clip it adjust it like that and you can go like this so they have three different settings and what's cool about this is that you can really spread out these legs and put the the tripod so low for like those low angle shots you really you, most of the time you will not need to uh, take the camera off the tripod because because you can actually drop the tripod to uh, just over a half a foot off the ground which is very low but now if, at the same time if you look at the height this is the the larger tripod the tc7 uh, as you can see when it's extended all the way uh, you can get it up to uh, just over five feet so uh, plenty enough you know and up here I have actually a Manfrotto head that I put on there simply because I wanted a fluid head on there and another cool thing is that this one the TC7 actually has a 75 millimeter ball mount and uh, and not only that but that ball mount allows you to just quickly with half a twist you can loosen it and you can adjust the angle like any ball head right uh, so that's nice for leveling quickly the, the tripod so you don't have to fiddle around and make sure each leg is perfect length you just Put your tripod, once it's solid, you just loosen it, level out the camera, and tighten it. But, if you know anything, or if you've worked with uh, tripods like this, and, you know, let's say if you want to remove this head, put it on a, on a hi-hat or something like that, then you know that uh, it, it can be a hassle because you have to unthread this whole thing, right? Well, not with this one. This one has this little button. So if you loosen this, and you press the button, you see, it comes out. So this comes out, and I can right away take the... the the whole basically camera and the fluid head off of the tripod and let's say if i'm traveling somewhere or whatever i can just fold this up and i can pack it and uh, another cool thing is that these uh, will pack very small they're just about basically a foot and a half in length so you can fit fit it in your luggage no problem when you're traveling with these uh, and also because they're light uh, again if i want to put this back on there just put it like this one turn and that's it it's locked yeah, another thing i like uh, about these tripods all of them is that they have these kind of uh, padded 
Uh, I'm not even sure if this is rubber or what, but they have basically these padded um, uh, or padding on one of the, the legs. Uh, and this is really helpful, especially when you're working with the aluminum version of these tripods, because when it gets cold, the aluminum, you know, it's metal. So it's going to get cold and very uncomfortable to hold. But with this, you don't feel anything. Uh, this one, carbon fiber, doesn't get that cold. Uh, today's kind of a chilly day, but no, I don't feel anything. But still, you have that kind of padding over there uh, on one of the legs. And then the last thing maybe about this larger tripod is that the maximum weight that it can hold uh, is 9 kilograms, uh, or almost 20 pounds. So, uh, very sturdy tripod, especially when you consider that it's, uh, it's not big and bulky and heavy, but it can take that much weight. And it's smooth, like, you know, I can put the air sound this, as you can see, with the cinema glass without any problems, uh, and I can get nice and smooth shots. Uh, so I like, like that about it. Uh, this one is slightly lower, but still takes a lot of weight. Uh, but anyways, there's different versions of this, like I said, different heights, different uh, things. There's a, another tripod that they have. Uh, I got the biggest and the smallest because I, I like to have those options. But there's another one, uh, the TA or C6. So you, can, you guys can check all the specs uh, about how much weight they can handle and all those things on my website if you guys are interested in that. Um, all of them come with this little tool, easily detachable. So if you need to tighten some of the screws or things like that, you have it right here on your leg, easy to find. Now this smaller tripod, like I said, it's uh, slightly shorter, it's slightly less uh, weight that it can take, but still plenty enough. Uh, that's why I like to use it with the Komodo K5 head, because it's it's meant for smaller cameras, but also it's, at the same time it's it's very light. And you see uh, you have also the, the bubble head up here, so you can adjust the, the level. And even though this one doesn't have a 75 millimeter ball head, you still actually have a ball head in there so you can level it quickly. So uh, if ours, for example, drop this. So as you can see, this is the height that it extends to. So it is uh, shorter than this one, but this one also has this cool little uh, thing up here, which allows you to basically extend the, um, the, the, the basically center column. So let me just loosen this. And as you can see, with the center column, I can have it almost uh, at the same height as, uh, as this tripod, which is really sweet. And then also you have another knob up here, you can see, you can lock it and lock it. And again, by the way, this is all aluminum, just really well built. But with this thing, I can again quickly find my level. Once I have my fluid head nice and level, I just lock it. And there, I can throw the, the camera on this. So again, nice tripod. And this one, as you can see, it packs even smaller. Uh, but it's, uh, it, it allows you almost the same height as this. Now the only thing with the center column is uh, if you want to put it really low, obviously you would have to take off the center column because uh, the center column is going to be in, in the way. So that's, that's the only thing for low mode. But actually another thing you can do with this is you can take it out and you can reverse it. Uh, and when you reverse it, then you can actually get the camera. It's just the only thing is going to be upside down, but you can get the camera then even lower to the ground. And another thing uh, you guys can see up here is there's a, a little hook uh, which allows you again to hang your camera bag or something like that. Just anything to weight the tripod down if you want it to be, because it, again, the tripod's very light. So if you have a heavy camera, light tripod and a lot of wind, this could topple over. But if you hang your camera bag or something in there, just something to weight it down, it's gonna be then, then very, very secure, but without having to carry this bulky tripod. So. Yeah, I uh, really like both of these tripods. Like I said, I've gotten these two. I did not get the, the T, T6 version. Can't say anything about that, but if it's anything as good as these two, I can highly recommend uh, uh, all of these new Gazelle tripods from iFootage. So check out the, the info. Like I said, all the details, specs about the weight limit, the sizes, all that stuff on my website, uh, tomantosfilms.com. And if you guys uh, want to order it, you'll find all the links for uh, where you can find these on different websites uh, again on my website or just look in the description of this video by the way guys iFootage is actually holding right now a video competition uh, it's very simple and very exciting prices uh, literally just enter a video any topic any genre th between three and ten minutes long and you go to competition.ifootagegear.com uh, and you just fill out the form submit your entry and uh, there's over forty thousand dollars in prizes one of the really exciting prizes you can win a red raven 
uh, camera up here, along with all this other cool stuff. And then you see up here some of the other cool prizes, including the tripods that, that I've been showing here. Um, so anyways, if you guys want, head on over. Uh, just follow, again, the links in the description of this video if you want to find this page and submit your entry into the contest. Uh, best of luck. Also, while I'm at it, I'm going to show you quickly my website. Uh, as always, you can find you know, a whole bunch of articles, uh, posts, film gear reviews, that kind of stuff on my website. Uh, and uh, if you're ever looking for anything specific, remember there's a little search bar, you can type it in. If you have any questions about specific gear or cameras, uh, then I most likely already talked about it or reviewed it. Uh, and if you want my advice on uh, basically what kind of camera to get, if you're starting out, that kind of stuff, just click on gear and here I have a whole article and then sub articles, you can click on all these, which will kind of explain how and basically you should go about, I think, investing in, in gear, uh, what's the best camera to start with and kind of, you know, go on from there. So anyways, all of that stuff you can find on my website, including if you go to the download section, you'll find a whole bunch of free downloads that I give away, like some LUTs, uh, photo video cheat sheets, you know, all kinds of cool, cool stuff. Um, so again, TomAntisFilms.com and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.